Hi, I'm um, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're off to the 2024 Camper Jam Festival. So, um, today we are off to, whoops, I'm out camera shot here. So today we are off to the 2024 Camper Jam Festival down in Shropshire. Um, we've just been and getting some goodies out of the uh, local shop and we are now off to fuel up and we'll catch up with you just a little way down the line and uh, discuss what's been going on lately. See you in a bit. So, we're, our <laughs> we're about two and a half hours in, we've still got two hours to go. Um, we've just stopped off at um, one of the services. So, I can't remember which one this was to be fair. Look, we've had Bracken for a walk across there on the grass. He's all done. Got the old bus ready. So a little bit different this time. Um, so there's just me, Alison, and Bracken with us today. Um, the other dogs we've left at home, simply because it's a festival. There'll be a lot of people, a lot of music, um, and a lot of that kind of thing would stress the other dogs out. Obviously not Bracken, Bracken loves cuddles, he'll catch up with anybody that wants to give him a kiss and a cuddle, <laughs> so he's fantastic, but the other ones will be a little bit stressed. So for this weekend, it is myself and my boy Bracken, my new Bracken, he's a good boy, he's a good boy, <laughs> and we've got Alison, there she is. <laughs> so. We've just had to uh, use the facilities, had a sandwich, a little drink. So now we're going to crack on. We've got two hours left to go. Um, we'll film a little bit as we're heading down. So I'll catch you in the morning. Obviously, if you follow our channel, um, you'll see that we haven't actually put much up lately. A um, couple of reasons for that, I've been a bit unwell, um, been really busy at work as well, and um, I had a fall the other day, uh, which left us with quite a big bruise up the arm. That's sorted now, not a problem with that, just a couple of knocks and scrapes. Um, Alison had a fall as well. So we're uh, obviously off to the 2024 Camper Jam Festival. Really looking forward to this. Um, we've had the tickets for quite a while now. Um, it's, I was sat now saying we've still got two hours to go. Um, it took us about 45 minutes just to get out of Durham City um, and on to the Air One. And then there was major congestion on the Air 1, which led to us leaving and heading through Darlington and getting back onto the Air 1 later. Um, so, so far, we've probably already travelled about probably two and a half, three hours already. <laughs> um, but we've still got two hours to go. So, a bit of a nightmare with traffic. Uh, hopefully, we can make a bit of time up. We're just pottering down, so there's no rush. Um, yeah, and the sun is shining, so fingers crossed. It stays that way. The weather hasn't actually been, well, the forecast hasn't been looking good, but fingers crossed we get some half decent weather. It'd be nice. <coughs> this is our first camper van festival, so we're really looking forward to it. Um, and hopefully we'll meet some of the people who follow us. Um, I think we'll bang a quick post on Facebook, just let people know that we're heading down that way. Um, 
Yeah, so we'll catch up with you a little bit further down the road. Uh, we are getting there. <laughs> uh, looking at sat nav, we're 14 minutes away now. Um, and we're now seeing a few VW campers. We've passed quite a few, they've passed me. Um, there's one just in front of us. So I think we're on the right road. So another 14 minutes, if Bratton can get out, in stretch his legs. Yards, over roundabout, continue straight onto Wolverhampton Road. Again, that's where we're headed. <laughs> I'm saying this drive down here hasn't been like a nice, easy Scotland drive. This one's just been congestion after congestion. I feel like I've been driving for absolutely hours. I mean, I'm right off. Are you hurt? His, his neck and his shoulder and right down the right arm. His pelvis up there. But other than that, no comparable. Good selection as well. Whereas uh, there's another sign down the bottom there.
tents and arrived and it's very full. This is just a very small section that we parked up in and I'm smelling barbecues and hot dog vans all over the place. No we haven't. Well we have but we haven't brought it this time. Andrew is going to spin the front seat Get that seat spun right round. Now this is always a bit of a laugh because what you don't see is it normally takes Andrew about three hours. It's a two minute job I was told. <laughs> It'll take two minutes. Yeah. No, it definitely doesn't take him two minutes. But and I, it is worth it in the end. And because he's not... Um, I've brought my paddleboard pump. <laughs> because he's not... I haven't got a paddleboard. Paddleboarding. This weekend, I thought, yeah, I'll show you. I'm doing another stunt, which is turning, <laughs> turning the chest. This is a stunt. This is a stunt on its own. It is a stunt on its own. Yeah. Now, yeah. by the way, Andrew, the the dogs thing is behind that. So it's thing. four of them to come out. They're done. Yeah. Brack in, in. Brack come out, son. Because I know he's health and safety, but you haven't got a helmet on. Yeah, need ivies and a you helmet. You need ivies and a helmet. Posh ass. Harness. <coughs> All of the above. Oh, oh, he's going for it. There's me walking stick in the front there, Andrew. Might get in the way. Or oh, yours might be in the way. <laughs> Better get sticky on the handbrake. On the handbrake? Was that the handbrake I heard? And on the. I've got the seatbelt caught as well. Seatbelt caught as well. Oh, oh, this has got to be a record, Andrew. Have a rest. Ta da! Easy. I'm keep filming to show the <laughs> after effects. Right, right, hang on, I need to lie down. We need to lie down, don't we, son? And that's the reality. <laughs> that's the reality of it. He's going to be buggered for the night now. Well, I'll tell you what, once it's turned, it's such a difference. It the is. Back of the van. There's loads more room in the back of the van. It opens up right up. It is. It is a nightmare getting it turned. I'm oh. just going to tell me if I'm going to trip now. And it is such a warm day. It is a warm day. It was supposed to be rain as well, wasn't it? Shh, you can look out the window. Shh, 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 shh. Just there. So, we're here. <laughs> Finally. So, obviously, traffic coming from Durham. Absolute nightmare. It took us five and a half hours to get here. Um, but we're here. Um, I must admit, once you're on site, the signage isn't very clear we did just sort of follow a couple of vans round and it just looked like you just parked wherever you want basically um obviously on the on the information you get how much space are you allowed just 10 by 10 basically yeah i think it was like 10 by 10 but if i just flick you around so you can have a look i mean obviously there's a bit more than 10 by 10 going on over there and a couple of vans there, I think, must be friends. They've got a big awning in between, plus the awnings on the vans and things. But, I mean this, to be fair, there's plenty of room. I can, yeah, I can hear a drone up as well. Um, I've brought my drone. I might just put that up tomorrow uh, or later on tonight. Mine's quieter than it is. So when mine zips up in the air, nobody will know it's up there, so I should get some, hopefully some nice footage. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Obviously, I'm knackered off driving, 
Alison's knackered just off sitting in the passenger seat. Don't know how that works. <laughs> yeah, and then obviously turning that seat, that's always a challenge. But where are you now? Just gonna chill out for a bit. Oh yeah, <laughs> you alright? There's Brock and he's just, he's wandering about, he's been getting strokes off people as they're coming past. He's enjoying himself. So I think we mentioned earlier, we, we left the other three dogs at home with uh, our son, simply because obviously they're a bit more of a handful trying to walk the other three dogs, because they all walk together. And the minute something spooks them, they, they get right up behind you um, and then become a trip hazard. So we thought, we, It'll be a bit easier. Bracken's more social with everybody else. Um, so, yeah, just left them there for the weekend so they're not getting stressed. Yeah, there's tons of dogs about. So it's a good place for that. So he's no longer just coming along the way. <laughs> and see where he's Bracken's typical. Hi, uh. <laughs> Come here, Zoni. He's tangled. <laughs> Yeah, so looking forward to having a bit uh, wander about once I've had a bit chill out. Um, yeah, have a look at some of the vans that's here and all. There's some fantastic vans about. Hopefully anything really um, that stands out. Uh, might get to have a chat with the person that owns it and have a bit nosy in. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're gonna have a quick uh, little wander, try and get Bratton to stretch his legs a bit. So uh, see what Camper Vans is about. All right. Right. Didn't know. Not sure. Oh. Well, they're clean the toilet too. Oh, that's good to know. They're just down here. Hi. Because we haven't been up this far. Right, come here. That's a nice colour van. Bracken, right. Come back, come back. More campers arriving. Just having a potter down, just to see what's what. Um, obviously got Bracken pulling us on the lead. Bracken, come back. <laughs> yeah. So there's plenty of dogs around. Plenty of flam families around. Yeah, everyone's really friendly. Oh, let's spin around and have a look at this one. Nice one. This one. What are you doing? 
got like an extension pod on the back. <laughs> That's a nice, uh, lovely colour combo on that camper. Rocking. So do I. Another one. Another one with a dog run. <laughs> Got to keep the kids in. Got to keep the kids in. I'll tell you what, there's. <laughs> so, plenty going on around this park. It is now. Some amazing uh, stalls kicking about with uh, everything on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Oh, yeah, oh. No, nice one. So I've met just walking around these stalls. Um, it's really good. I mean, they've got everything, um, obviously, camper van related, um, and obviously food stalls, and you can get signage, everything else and stuff, um, but really good. And what I'm really surprised about is, because it's obviously got a couple of audience, it's still actually really cheap. Um, yeah. You know, so they're not, people aren't charging you know, taking a lend or anything out, like they're like re really reasonable prices for what, what, you know, what they've got. And so they are quite eight now, and still obviously a lot of stalls open. It takes all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hey. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come here, it's a good boy. Hey, 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 <laughs> Reckon, come here, so. Oh, where you that? Maybe cool kipping in the back of that one. Ooh, for sale, if anybody wants it. So we've we've had a wander down wander down the field to have a look at some of the entertainment stuff that's on. Um, there's rows and rows of of stalls um, selling everything from food, crafts, t-shirts, hoodies, clothing, tents, awnings, tons of accessory stuff for the VWs and you know any camper van basically. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed having that wander down there. It was really good. Um, it is quite tiring. It's, as I say, the site is massive. I mean, luckily, I think there's probably people who's further away than we are. <laughs> the, 
but it, it was really tiring getting down there. But we've just getting back. Um, Old Bracken has met every dog imaginable, and he's met loads of people who just wanted kisses and cuddles, didn't he, son? Didn't they just want kisses and cuddles? Um, I got some food while I was down there. But we passed toilets, showers. Yeah, one thing, uh, yeah, there's there's loads of portaloo toilets, but they are nip and clean. They're not like the, what what you've got in your head about portaloos. They are nip and clean. There's, there's a truck going around keeping them clean all the time. Um, another thing uh, as well about the, the actual site, there isn't any litter anywhere. I mean, there's, there's loads of um, big 1100 litre wheelie bins for you to put your rubbish in and stuff like that. Um, so absolutely nip and clean. Uh, there's people walking about litter picking with the bags and the, the little picker things. Um, I'm really, really impressed so far. Um, I'm shocked at how massive it is. Yeah, it is massive. It is one massive venue. I mean, obviously this is our first, so we've got nothing to compare it to. But common sense tells you it's pretty well organised. Um, yeah, some of the vans that we're walking past is tremendous. Uh, not as good as Big Red Leg, because, you know, he's always... <laughs> no, there's some... Yeah, yeah, there's some uh, absolutely top of vans kicking about. Um, so, yeah, so at the minute, just enjoying a little beer. Like I said, when we're down there, I got some food. I just got some uh, dirty fries with pulled pork and jalapenos and dried onions and... They were tremendous. They were eight pound fifty, but as I said, Alison, even if I'd paid twelve pound for them, I wouldn't have felt robbed because they were that nice, and the portion size was really good as well. So yeah, um, I know I briefly mentioned it earlier, but um, obviously all these stalls and that that's out, so I see t-shirts and hoodies and all sorts of like things like that. They're not taking your eyes out either for the prices. Uh, you know they've all got like you know the um the 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 festival prices on and stuff like that so like the they've got discount prices on and things like that and they're not taking your eyes out as i said everything's very reasonable which i'm really surprised at um but yeah so far so good first night thoroughly enjoyed it um we're gonna enjoy our beer i think then i might have a nice warm cup of coffee and then uh, I think it's bed. We're already two hours past our bedtime. Is yeah, <laughs> Brack Brack Bracken's dying to no, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, he's dying to go to bed. But uh, he'll have to suffer and stay outside with us for a bit. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's settled on the van. Turn a bit more. No, nah, a bit. Not the other way. Look at that van. <laughs> is he? Where is he? Got him. There he is. He's ready for bed. <laughs> but you enjoyed it so far, pet? Yeah. Champion. Right, we're going to close there for the night. We'll see you in the morning. Morning, everybody. So, um, yeah, we had a half decent sleep last night, um, apart from the fact that me and Alison were actually in a lot of pain off the walking that we'd done. Uh, so much pain. Um, obviously, the football matches, Euros is going on at the minute. I think it's the Euros. They're into football. So there was a lot of noise while they've got that. They've, they've got like a live event tent where it, it's just one of these outdoor pubs, basically, where you can watch all the football. So you could hear that up on our field. Um, and then obviously, they had the live music as well. But once that had stopped and people had sort of returned back, it was actually quite quiet. Uh, so yeah, not too bad. And then this morning, um, yeah, nice and quiet. We've got grey skies, a little bit of blue peak poking through there. Um, quite a few people still asleep at the minute. We're just getting our van sorted. Rocking at the hill. <laughs> so we did have a little issue yesterday. So went to use the tap to get some water out in the in the camper and I would have used the pump on the tap um, but wasn't getting any water and then I felt my feet getting wet but what actually happened was 
the pipe it came off the back of the tap um, and obviously when I'm turning the switch it was still pumping the water which then pumped just into the cupboard and narrowing my feet so that's a job for when I get one but uh, so anyway we can get around that there's a bit of a work around we'll just kind of use the pipe and just put that into the kettle and stuff when we need it so that'll do but uh, yeah all good so far so we're now just heading down towards the uh, the vehicle show tell you what it'd be hard to find a level pitch on that hill like yeah, man. <laughs> yeah i'm glad we're on a level spot oh we've got to go and see the one-eyed dog yeah there's a one-eyed dog over there we'll see if we can see it yeah you can see that a lot of these vans is all kitted out for um like the festivals or uh, yeah uh, camp uh, campsites and stuff like that they've all got massive awnings massive tents everything's massive about them <laughs> so it doesn't look as though there's much uh, many people sleeping in the vans but uh, obviously we haven't got this sort of stuff because we enjoy being away in the van and just parking up wherever we can yeah um, and obviously trying to stay a little bit stealthy while we're doing it. <laughs> size of this one. As I say, you'll be right up in the stars on that one. That's lovely. Nice van, that one, like. I got mad when there's a little bit of rust on my van. Does me head in. This one's sitting on the ground. Stunning. Scooby bus. It's the mystery machine. <laughs> oh, nice, isn't it? Got all of them here. Aye. There's a more insurance at these cars. There's all for sale. Yeah, uh, brought on the other way. Yeah. Right, right. There's uh, some vans that's up for sale. Twenty two plus. Fifty five grand. Twelve now. So. Evening. Simple design. Good. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to have a look at this one. 
<laughs> Hi, Mer. So it's yours? Yeah. I've been the f***ing this one. <laughs> we love this. Right, so at one of the shows now with uh, this amazing camper van. What's your camper van called? I saw uh, it on the it's phone. called Rust Till Dawn. Rust Till Dawn. Yeah. Um, how long have you had it? Uh, we've had it uh, a year now. Well, I've had it over a year, but the right. conversions took a year to do. Um, we come up with a name, we was trying to rust it, and it only seemed to rust between the eyes of Rust Till Dawn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so we called it Rust Till Dawn. So how are you actually getting all that rust effect? Is it literally just all the paint off and yeah, left yeah, to rust? Yeah, we, uh, we, we bare metal the van with a, a 40 grit um, angle grinder, a disc on the angle grinder, and literally just that to uh, let nature take its course. Normally, you, you're trying to stop a van rusting. This one, we couldn't get it to rust, so it's took well, the best part of a year. And then uh, once you've got the, the look you're going for, do you, is it all lucky it again then? To yeah, stop going any further? Yeah, <laughs> once we got it to the patina we wanted, we, we put uh, stuff over the top called anchor wax. And right, okay. Basically, you, if you cut the oxygen and moisture off, it, it won't rust any further. So right. it's a constant job of waxing it to stop it going any further now. Right. Oh, that's fantastic. And just going to flick that around a little bit and have a quick glance inside. I mean, obviously, the way you've done all the inside as well yeah. is really good. It, it really suits what you, the look you've been going for. Yeah. And obviously, your roof rack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah plenty, plenty of uh, props on there, scrap, bits, uh, bits of all sorts. It is functional. It we'll have a walk around the front a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So, do your horns work? Yes, do you want to hear wow. that? Yeah, why not? Right, let's hear the horns. Let's hear these horns. Right, we've got two sets. All right. Jesus. Yeah, yeah right, right. They're, they're definitely horns. <laughs> no, they're fantastic. Obviously, my van, I've got a T5, uh, yeah. 2005. All I've done is just convert the inside, and my horn is a toot toot. Yeah, yeah. Pretty embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> well, we, we needed, we needed to go to the extreme with this one. So we, we started off with the truck horns, which were obviously very loud. Um, and an old boy that comes to our house, he's a, he's a train driver, he's nearly 80, and he right. says, I've got a, a set of train horns. You want to stick them on? Well, said, if they're bigger and louder than what I've got, why not? So we've gone for both. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, really, really good. The radiator on the top, is that server uh, purpose or is it for sure? Yeah, that's the intercooler. Um, right. Everything about this van was doing something that nobody else has done before. So I think you've managed to yeah, achieve that. Yeah, every aspect. Is, nobody, we, we know, has ever put an intercooler on the roof. And we thought, why not? It's something different. And it's fully functional, all plumbed in, and it does work. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Even the, even the little details that you've got, like the old vintage camera on the dash, that's the dash cam. Is that actually a working <laughs> dash cam as well? Yeah, it's not actually working, but it's a dash right. cam. <laughs> dash cam, fantastic. Yeah. And even just finishing off on your registration with the chains yeah. around it. No, it's absolutely fantastic. Do you have any problems with having the yellow lights? Uh, no. no the, right. the, uh, yellow lights are legal. I, right. don't, I don't think they're quite as bright uh, as the clear lenses, but it was more the aesthetic to yeah. go with the look. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, fully functional again and something different. Absolutely fantastic. Love you, Van. Lovely. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, yeah, mate. We appreciate Thank that. You. This one's obviously been wrapped. I'm not a fan of wrapped cars, but I do like the colour of this one. Yeah. Nice. Car, nice. That van, that must, it must rise yeah. when you start it up because you couldn't drive it off like that. <laughs> so 
looks like his mobile bar. <laughs> wow. This one. It's amazing what people come up with. <laughs> this girl, he's full bar in there. Full bar sofa in there. He's even got his dart board in. So let's just have a wander around and in the back. Fantastic. <laughs> So you can go to his bar table and stool outside. <laughs> that looks nice, isn't it? Fantastic. Oh, look at that stove in the back. Yeah. Wow, that's been slammed. <laughs> nice. Better than scarred on this one. <laughs> Interesting look. seat in the front. Slight change of plan. Um, we've decided to leave the festival um, a day early. Um, <laughs> realistically, we haven't even been here 24 hours. But obviously, there's a number of factors. But I mean, one of them is basically just the, the physical size and distance that you have to walk to get to anything, particularly from where we were. Um, I mean, we were right up in one of the top fields and stuff. Um, I don't know, I didn't think I had much choice when I picked my ticket or might have just been, I was a bit naive to we park a bit further up there, but I mean, the place is absolutely huge. Um, so anyway, we decided to leave the day early where literally once we get out of the gates and along the road and I can park up somewhere, we're going to have a look at the maps and figure out where we can actually stop tonight. So we're gonna potentially break our journey home in two bits. Take a risk? Yeah, we're just gonna take a risk and we're just gonna see where faith takes us. So yeah. we'll catch up with you in a bit. We went with fate, and fate has brought us home. So <laughs> it just seemed that um, as we were travelling back, we were making good time. The traffic was really good and stuff like that. Um, we couldn't really figure out where we were going to stay for a night, but 
we made good time with the traffic, as I say, it took end of taking us three and a half hours, but we decided, right, we'll just come home. Um, so, obviously, why did we leave early? Um, well, one one reason was the weather was moving in, um, and it was really going to be chucking it down. It's just starting to rain now here. We've been driving through lovely sunshine all the way home. Um, another thing was that, obviously, the festival itself was a lot of walking. Um, we booked it naively, um, thinking we'd be able to manage it, but it was a real struggle. Um, and the weather was moving in uh, in Shropshire, so it was going to be chucking it down later that evening. And so we weren't going to be walking about. We'd have literally just been sitting in the van that evening anyway, so we thought, tell you what, we'll make a move. Saves us having to sit in a load of traffic trying to get out of the park um, and you know, all the traffic back on the road and stuff. So we decided to make the move, make the push. I did say we'll, we'll go where fate takes us and it's brought us home. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share. Um, check us out on Buy Me A Coffee if you want to. We've got photographs and things on there that we'll be selling. Um, big thank you to everyone who's uh, following us on the channel. Um, big thank you to anybody that's uh, you know, bought us a coffee. Um, fantastic. So until the next time, see you later.